all right back to the presentation so yeah as i was saying like yeah so the, in this session uh we'll be talking about a feature that we are planning to build in uh in our upcoming releases so uh so it's not something that we've already built so the motive the whole uh motivation to do a presentation like this is to share the use cases that we are trying to solve with this uh, child devices support in thin edge okay so we have already identified some use cases uh, from some of uh, from the community so we'll be sharing that with you and we would like to validate our understanding those these use cases and the requirements that has come out of it and most importantly it is to get feedback on any additional use cases that you might have with child devices that we haven't quite covered uh, yet okay so with that let's let's start so so before uh, <clears throat> before dwelling into what we have what we are planning to build uh, in future so let's review as to what we have today so so far with tinage our focus has been on getting your devices connected right so you can have a uh, you you'd have a, a device, a gateway kind of a device where you can attach your sensors or actuators. And the purpose was to get these connect devices, which otherwise couldn't have been connected to the cloud directly. So get these devices connected with the help of this gateway and get the data from these sensors to the cloud or control these actuators and stuff from the cloud. Okay, so this has been our focus. So we've added se several features to ThinEdge, uh, like yeah, to send measurements, even alarms or uh, control the devices via custom operations like configuration management etc cetera, etc cetera. okay but recently we've come across some far more complex uh, deployments in the field where it's not just simple sensors or actuators that are connected to this gateway but more complex devices like the plcs where uh, like <clears throat> or multiple plcs where far many many more devices are connected so this in the field it's a very complex uh, device deployment. And with ThinEdge so far, we just had like every sensor that is connected to the ThinEdge device or every actuator that's connected to the ThinEdge device. Finally, when you uh, visualize it from the cloud, there is only, you'll only see one device in the cloud. Okay, And all the sensor data is associated to that device in the cloud, which we typically call device twin. And every control that you try to do goes from that single device twin. But when your field the, when your device deployment in the field is so complex, that single device uh, associating all the device from all these sensors, all these devices into a single device uh, wouldn't be sufficient. So you would want to visualize the same uh, deployment hierarchy from the cloud as well. So when you are controlling, say for example, this PLC, you would want to see that PLC as an independent device and associate all the data <clears throat> for it uh, with that specific PLC and not associated with the gateway device itself. Okay, so this has been one of the uh, requirements or uh, use cases that we are trying to solve. And another one is there are smart devices. So these smart devices are capable of connecting directly to the cloud. So they they have libraries, let's say MQTT libraries or HTTP libraries that they can use to connect to the cloud directly, but they prefer not to. Uh, because <clears throat> uh, one of the reasons is security. Okay, so even with these smart devices, many many of these uh, customers or interested parties they don't want to expose all their smart devices to the internet directly. Uh, that's a they consider that as a security uh, risk. Okay, so rather they would like to connect that to a single gateway, a thin edge gateway, which is secure, right? And only that secure gateway is connected to the cloud. So that way, yeah, that attack surface is very much limited. So, uh, and you can make sure that your gateway is fully hardened and uh, yeah, there are no intrusions possible. Okay. So this is one of the uh, one of the use cases that security concern. The other one is that even though like the smart devices, they wouldn't want to send all the data, all the data that's generated by these smart devices to the cloud. So they, they want to reduce the volume of data that is pushed to the cloud. So what they want to do is uh, they want to push the data to the gateway device and do some filtering or aggregation or some additional data processing uh, at the gateway with all the volume that is coming or data that is coming from these devices and only send that filtered like special or filtered or processed data to the cloud. So you can completely reduce the 
amount of uh, data that is being sent to the cloud. So only the relevant data gets pushed to the cloud. Okay. So this is the other uh, requirement or uh, use case that we have come across. OK, so to solve these use cases, we are introducing this concept of child devices in ThinEdge. OK, so what exactly is a child device? So a child device is a logical representation of a device in the cloud that has its own identity. So it's different from the ThinEdge device itself, the uh, the gateway device itself, but it is still linked to the gateway device as a child or as a leaf or whatever, like based on which cloud that you're connected to. OK, so it needs its own identity, but it should still be linked to the gateway. So that better re uh, represents the deployment that you have in the field as well. OK, now these child devices, they can be a real physical devices that are directly connected to the gateway, or they can even be logical devices or just a simple process or container that is running on the gateway. So for example, uh, in this case, in the case of this, uh, with say uh, some field with field bus device, like uh, devices connected uh, via some field bus protocols or uh, PLCs, uh, they can't directly push their data to the gateway. Right, so you need something running on the gateway, some process running on the gateway that is reading the data from these sensors over that field bus channels or IU links or whatever, like uh, the demo that you just um, see with PLCs. So this is the logical child device use case. Okay, so child device can be of these two types. And what do you need with a child device? So they have, they need their own identity as mentioned earlier, and their own metadata. OK, so it's not just the identity. They, they'll have their own metadata like uh, uh, the device type, the manufacturer info, the serial number, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, they'll have their own settings that is different from the gateway device. So settings that defines the current state of the device, like set points, the configurations that are available on the device or the, all the software that's installed on those devices, et cetera. And these devices obviously can send data, so either telemetry data or the data that represents uh, state changes or current state. And they can also receive commands from the cloud to change the behavior of these devices, say in the case of actuators. OK, so this is what we want with child device. So basically, pretty much everything that this gateway, the thin edge gateway devices itself uh, has, but with dedicated, with their own dedicated uh, independent identity. Thin edge, as the thin edge platform, what do we want to provide? What are features do we need to provide for child devices to enable them? Okay. So the first thing is we need to provide the secure association of a physical child device on the field to its cloud device twin, so that, that logical representation in the cloud. Okay. So any data coming from the physical device should be associated to its twin, the, its logical twin in the cloud. Okay. So that's the the primary requirement and uh, so when thin edge is acting like a gateway there will be multiple child devices it's not just a single child device that would be connected multiple child devices would be connected to <clears throat> connected to this gateway so in such cases in that case routing of all the data so all these child devices would be pushing data and uh thin edge needs to make sure that all the data is routed to their corresponding appropriate device twins in the cloud and similarly, uh, for the commands received from the cloud to the devices as well, again, the routing of these commands from the cloud to the device is also uh, another core requirement. Now, the next major thing is uh, hosting, uh, as we saw in the second use case, uh, hosting additional filtering or aggregation uh, or processing logic on the gateway itself. OK, so ThinEdge itself wouldn't be doing any filtering or aggregation on its own, but it needs to support or it needs to host additional logic that you can write, uh, which will process the data that is coming, the raw data that is coming from these devices, and uh, and then you yeah, do any filtering, aggregation, etc. before they are sent out to the connected cloud. Okay. And then the, the most important thing as a gateway, so guarantee the message delivery, be it uh, telemetry data, data or commands received from the, from the cloud. So make sure that th the data is not lost or they are delivered 
uh, even in the case of network disruption. So for example, if the device, if the gateway is not connected to the cloud briefly uh, due to some network outage, that shouldn't stop the child devices from functioning. So they will continue functioning. They will continue sending all the data, uh, generating all the data. So Thinet should still continue working. All the aggregation logic that's uh, installed on Thinet should continue running. It it would end up, it will create more uh, missions or events or alarms like any data. So Thinet should probably keep it cached or queued until the network disruption is uh, fixed. So as soon as the network is re restored, all this data uh, that was collected or queued during that disruption period should be delivered to the cloud or vice versa, the commands from the cloud to the devices. OK, so basically be re resilient to network di disruptions. So these are the uh, key uh, guarantees that Thinnage as a pl platform would have to provide to child devices, or these are the things that we are currently considering. OK, so what are the next steps? So the next step is you've all already uh, heard about the uh, use cases that we are considering th that we are trying to solve so we would like to hear more uh, hear hear from you about more additional any additional use cases that we may not have considered or that probably won't be covered with what we have the conceptual requirements that we have already uh, mentioned okay so we would like your feedback on this feature before we uh, before we build it okay and how can you uh, give this feedback obviously the, so during this meetup, so uh, in this meetup itself, you can directly share it either after this presentation or uh, in a, uh, at the end of this uh, session during the uh, networking uh, networking time, or you can also reach out to us via our online channel. So we have our Discord channel, which is uh, mentioned in our uh, GitHub open source project page. Okay, so you can uh, just join our uh, server and feel uh, feel free to share your uh, share your feedback there so we have a dedicated channel created for use cases named use cases so feel free to share your feedback there or even use github discussions so we've already have we already have a few discussions around this uh, child devices feature okay so feel free to either add your comments there or even create new discussions for something that's not covered here that that i mentioned okay so with that, so yeah, we've reached the end of the session. So thank you so much for listening. So we have already started working on this feature. So uh, and uh, there will be, uh, we already had support for measurements for child devices uh, since uh, I think version 0 0.5, if I remember correctly. So you could send measurements from any child devices to ThinEdge and uh, get it sent to a uh, to a connect connected cloud so that feature already existed and we are adding more support for data like uh, events and alarms in our upcoming release and uh, adding to so planning to add more support for additional commands from the cloud to the devices as well so this will be coming in the very uh, uh, like uh, 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 immediate releases so please don't hesitate your to share your feedback as quickly as possible so with that, thanks everyone for listening. So awaiting your feedback in our Discord channels or GitHub discussions. Thank you.